Well, guys, we predicted it. So version 8.4 finalizes the last prediction I had for season 8. So yes, we knew the respawn vans were coming. We made a video about that. Yes, I will link all these videos down in the description below. The respawn van came out last week, as we all know. And now this time, this week, airplanes are back. But airplanes are not back in the regular game modes, rather an LTM this time, called the Air Royale Limited Time Mode. Now, we had leaks in previous updates about the airplane sounds, airplane this, and airplane that. So we kind of had the hint that airplanes were coming back to some degree. Anyway, that game mode is a lot of fun. You guys are seeing some gameplay on the screen right now. But basically, it's a duos only mode. Each plane has three lives. Players will respawn until they lose their, pl their plane's last life. Touching the ground will instantly eliminate players if you get out of the airplane. Uh, parking a plane on the ground for more than a few seconds will cause it to explode, stay airborne, and then there's a bunch of other kind of minor details. But basically, that's basically it. Airplane versus airplane in the sky. The storm does come down vertically, which is very cool in my opinion. So yes, the circle does close, but it also comes in from the top too, so that way there isn't it limits the fighting airspace drastically. Moving on, there is another LTM, and you guys don't worry, we will get into the details about the brand new epic and legendary infantry rifles in one second, but we're diving into the other LTM, which is a food fight, but called Deep Fried. So it's the same LTM from before, with the food fight in terms of two different bases, the hamburgers versus the tomato heads, and basically it's the same thing in terms of there's a giant shield in the middle, so it prevents the fighting right off the bat, but you have a couple minutes to gather weapons, gather resources, materials, whatever it may be, and then once that wall drops, lava is going to start rising up from the bottom. So it's a mixture of the floor's lava plus the food fight LTM, so it's a lot of fun. Check that out when you guys get the chance. Now, moving on to the very, very cool weapon that we're all here to listen to and watch, which you guys saw in the opening gameplay on the airplane mode, is a brand new infantry rifle. And this one comes in the epic and legendary format, so we have a brand new gold weapon. Very cool. Basically, it deals 42 slash 44 damage with respectable headshot multipliers and can be found from floor loot, chest, supply drops, and vending machines. Still has 8 bullets per clip, same as the infantry rifle from before, and it uses medium ammo. So basically, it's very versatile. I like using it from the airplane perspective. It's very cool. I love how they added in the last update that the infantry rifle now shoots like an actual assault rifle rather than shooting projectile uh, bullets like the snipers. So, very cool there. Check out the weapon in-game. Let me know what you guys think about that weapon in the comment section down below. Anyway, we're moving on here. So now you can pet dogs and other pets. So if your teammate or an enemy has that dog back bling or the hamster back bling on the back of their character, you can go up and pet them. So very cool there. Moving on, Battle Pass Friend XP bonus has been upgraded, so a lot more XP to go around. There's some more details about how and whatever, but basically, all you guys need to know is basically playing with parties that have the Battle Pass grant you more XP, regardless if you have the Battle Pass or not. So very cool. Bunch of bug fixes, so they fixed an issue with the Season 8 trailer won't play. Fixed an issue where the embers from the environmental campfires would linger if the floor they were attached to was broken. Fixed an issue where coconuts could not be pinged. Fixed an issue where turbo builds could stop if you ran out of the current type of materials you were using. Fixed an issue with traps being placed inside walls, making them difficult to see. Fixed an issue with traps being placed inconsistently when auto-placed. Uh, some emotes were not about to be able to play and whatnot. Then fix an issue where using replay last emote before using any other emote. So now it plays the emote in the default slot. Moving on, competitive. Basically, they went ahead and formatted the upcoming qualifiers for the New York trip. So this is a duo game mode, April 20th and 21st. This weekend will be kind of the qualifiers online for the people that have already qualified. So they must be in the championship bracket already. The, uh, I believe, Division 7 in the arena mode. And so that should be a lot of fun. Big shout out to my man TJ and my other buddy McGavin, who are both competing in that this weekend. Hope they do really well. Moving on to some more minor changes. 
They basically increase the size and intensity of the Boombo explosion when you shoot it to kind of more accurately represent the damage radius that such Boombo does. So very cool. Moving on, the audio with the reboot van has been changed just a little bit to prevent it from looping and the audio from looping. So very cool there. Moving on, they fixed an issue that would cause the shotgun equip sound to not play. So now it obviously will play. Moving on, there is now a setting in the emote wheel to basically copy the player that you are looking at and aiming at. If they are dancing, there is an option in the emote wheel to go ahead and mimic that dance or emotes. So very cool there. We're going to see a lot more kind of memes that I'm sure with that being used. Limited time mode victory screen is no longer pushed out of place on mobile and switch. Uh, you can go ahead and hide the vehicle control hints on the left. You can hide that through the settings if you wanted to. A uh, bunch of replay fixes in terms of panning with the camera and that not updating if you scroll and scrub through the timeline. Moving on, they went ahead and fixed a ton of mobile issues. So I will leave all of that in the description below as always guys. But let me know what you think of the infantry rifle as well as the Aerial Royale game mode. So let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys later. Top box is that previous video like always. And that bottom box is a mystery video like always. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a great day.